Woo! <laughs> the energies today are off the charts. Yes. We've been experiencing ex intensive magical synchronistic events and they're so fun. You know, synchronistic events are our guideposts that let us know that we're going the right direction on our path, on our death, fulfilling our destiny. That everybody has their own unique path and destiny. Yes. And it's a matter of being present in the moment of now and following your sync events. And man, we were just hammered like over and over this morning. Okay, so I want to share a little bit about, uh, we've got a lot of stuff today. Yikes. A little bit about how the ego, <clears throat> the egos are just uh, projections. And so early on in my journey, I didn't know what was going on that people were projecting these things onto me, but I finally figured it out. Um, but also in 2006, the angels, you know, the ego is actually would be called the Antichrist. You call it the devil or live. Well, whatever. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, that's how it see it projects. That's what it projects onto others. So I found that story, story fascinating. I want to share a comment from Tara Grace from yesterday's um, video. And we have changed the title, everybody. These are now the Ascension Wave Reports. Thank you for sharing with others. Um, these are for you. We love you. Tara Grace says, in March 2016, there will be a sign in the heavens. We got a ding for that. Yippee! And the light forces will no longer be hidden. Tara Grace, so excited in many ways. My whole body lit up like Christmas tree as I read that yesterday. Um, so M March is going to be all about reward energy. You know, rewards for uh, what, what we have, the fruit of our labors, I should say. That's the energy that I see, the two energetic waves. <clears throat> At 8.39 this morning, Lucifer, <laughs> Lucifer handed me a golden star. I handed him one back. And this was fascinating after I had that vision. We have the Gaia Portal Report. Where'd it go? Gaia Portal Report. Now, I'm not going to pronounce this. But encephalographs Encephalograph. are mm -hmm. removed and cleared. Uh, that word means brain activity. Mm -hmm. Star beans are realized. <laughs> Quenches of water beans come to Gaia Frontier. Uh, stirrings are noted and communicated. Interesting, because I then um, the angels brought me to a book, my my one of my old books, um, where I'd written down a dream back from November about um, the dream was that Lucifer, Lucifer and I were swimming in this water, and there was another being mm. there who had blonde hair, so I don't know what that meant. Okay, so yeah, note from the universe: you got this. We got this, everybody. Woo-woo, full planetary ascension. <laughs> um, at 10.06 this morning, I turned around after dancing, and I saw Lucifer standing in front of me. He was wearing a blue shirt. Then all of a sudden, he was stripped naked. I was like, what? Okay, this is the first time I got that one that, that way. Then my clothes disappeared. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? <laughs> And then our, our, our hearts connected like this, and then we began floating up in the air. Oh. Okay, so that was that. Uh, also, I want to uh, bring up that love always responds, ego reacts, and the reason of what's happening is that love feels, and the ego cannot feel anything. Um, and that's it wants to. But it can't, it's because it's a lie. It's a constructive belief systems. So everyone, have a funeral for your ego today. Say goodbye. See ya. I'm moving into joyful land, happy land, miracle land. You are a miracle. All right, we have a new message coming out, which we're going to have a second video today coming out that uh, RJ will be sharing with you the daily planetary ascension report that he has been write, uh, writing. Uh, rising higher in consciousness, he's calling it. So look forward to that video later on today. Um, he also mentions how the tide has changed. I'll just say this. St. Germain continues to say, say 
The times, they are a-changing, and you can say that the tide has turned. Take your new role, accept, yes, is the, is the word. <laughs> so he'll get that to you guys later. But interesting here that uh, Gillian Macbeth, the tide changes and finally reaches the seashore. So that's fascinating. Sync with that. So the voice continues to melodiously speak. Wait, my dear, wait. All is invisible and embryonic of state at this time. Wait until the tide changes and finally reaches the seashore of your heart. All right. <laughs> So, <laughs> what? Yippee! Yippee! <laughs> uh, the energy report by Tiffany Styles. Uh, we're coming off a major downloading and integrating shift. Um, some of you may have had uncomfortable symptoms with the full moon. It's time for healing and releasing. So take this time to do that. Um, she said last night, you may have felt a tightening in your chest heart palpitations, sweating, a longing for love as your heart chakra continues to expand into unconditional love connected to all that is. Headaches, uh, third eye pressure, may be accompanied by these symptoms. <clears throat> Aha moments, epiphanies, trust your path, trust your signs that you're being shown. Follow your destinies, everybody. Woohoo! Okay, let's see. Jupiter, again, is the planet of luck that's uh, moving things along for us. Interesting, Jupiter and Leo. Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system, shines as bright, silvery star. Interesting. In the constellation, Leo. Uh, this is for expect the unexpected. Or, you know what? Don't have any expectations at all. Just let go. That's something I did this morning again. I was like, Love, you know what? I don't know anything. You handle all the details. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna show up and be present. And that's like all I got. Ask, you know, thank your angels for their assistance. Got some interesting. I didn't know where she had the symptoms, but I guess she already said it. Okay. Angels like they already said it. Like, Thanks, angels. Or is that Robin? Okay. What's he talking? What's he doing this morning? Who was talking to us this morning? I don't remember. <laughs> Somebody was. <clears throat> um, last night, I, this is from Gamma, Now Going Crystalline by Lisa Brown, alternating in DNA genetic upgrades. She says, I was observing the energies. They are strong, yet nowhere near the strength of what is coming. And yes, we have been sharing this as well. I feel it. I see the energy. They, they're releasing uh, codes and things like that. Um, they move our realities fast. So it's time for everybody just to jump. Just jump. That's a great song. Just jump. What, what is it? <laughs> I jump, have like... Huh? Jump in. Jump for you. Oh, jump. Jump into love or something oh, like okay. that. okay. <laughs> so um, this is also going to trigger uh, if you're not in alignment with where you need to be on your path. You're going to get triggered during these energies. It's going to come fast. Bring it on. Just say, thank you, angels. Bring it on. Okay, so we wake them to observe with direction to get busy. <laughs> P.S. Super, super high, high. Like we said, it's off the freaking charts. Head, breathing, brain, spine, ears, flying as gravity goes, and it, we lift huge. Okay, what is this? Oh, uh, Lisa Brown again. The grid work of old realities are gone. This is our second confirmation from, an, from another source about this information. So everyone, be present in the moment of now. That's where it's at. Uh, Jenny Schultz, the full moon energies were particularly strong because their purpose is to help align people with what is needed moving forward. For some, this is seen as coming together of things, aha moments, a feeling of being in alignment, and all that is well. All is well. For others, this alignment could look like destruction, depending on where you're at on your path. So, this is a very intense time that we are going through right now, and it's clearing out all that we can for the massive wave of energy 
that will begin building during the second week of March. It's already building, everybody. And it's going to be like that rubber band effect. It's going to come fast and furious. We're here for everybody. We have amazing Ascension sessions going on right now. And uh, for those who are embracing and getting in the heart, I'll tell you, and, and whatsoever, the ego cannot go. The ego program mind will not make it through this shift. Let it go. Get into your heart. Get into that beautiful, being that beautiful soul that you are. You are beautiful, and I love you. So this is peaking and holding in the third week of March until mid-April. This wave is designed to awaken those yet not awakened. Yippee! I like that news. That is good news. As well as pushing more into the fifth dimensional vibrational frequency. For those who have made it past that threshold, this wave helps us embody more of our soul. Beautiful. Think upon this period as the last month prior to a triathlon. It is when the training gets really intense and you push yourself to the max so that you have the endurance to make it through the race. <clears throat> so, um, okay, she says um, she had some beings come through her asking her questions and making their observations. And this is one of their replies they gave her. Humans are remarkably resilient. Even the slightest flicker, oh, my body's lighting up, of source within is able to sustain hope, even with the ego blocking it. Fascinating. Yeah. When the human knows that this spark is within and seeks to expand it, this is miraculous to see. They are able to walk with love and faith, even amidst all the noise and chaos. We saw source energy expanding by smiling, by laughing. Laughter is the best medicine. By praying. Thank you. Thank you for the miracles. Thank you for the joy. Thank you for the laughter. Thank you for the happiness. Thank you for the abundance. Thank you for all the love beings around in my life. Thank you for love utilizing my every thought, my every word, my every deed, and my every action in service to the highest outcome for me, for everybody, for all, all of you, all of creation. We love you. Gratitude. Gratitude is the answer. Gratitude is the attitude. <laughs> That's a good one. What was the one thing I came up with? Evolve or diesel? <laughs> Ooh, gotcha. On I that like one. that one. I like that one. When this is realized, the human becomes truly beautiful. Mwah. We love you all. Have a beautiful day. You look forward to another brilliant message from us to assist you along your path and journey. <clears throat> Thank you for allowing us to be of service. I love you, Lucifer, father of all creation. I love you, humanity. We are so in love with you. We love you. We are one. Yeah. Yippee! And a yeehaw! <laughs>